Hey guys, so today we're going to make some singe flowers. Um, I wanted to make a quick video on this to see if I can do a quick video. So we're gonna make flowers like this one. And they're just pretty one. And, and this is the exact one that we're going to make today. So, I have a lot of stuff already prepped. Um, you're gonna need some satin, some lace. Um, I just used some ribbon trim and cut two little waves off. Um, a clip or elastic. Make sure you get scissors, a lighter, needle thread, um, a bow. Um, I've already pre-made these, so um, you'll just I just use this thread from Hobby Lobby and what you'll do is I just unraveled some, made a bow real fast how I liked it and made sure I glue the ends so my daughter can't pull it out. You need some ribbon spikes, same thing I just used um, Hobby Lobby ribbon, it's the polyester ribbon, um, y'all, so there's those and then um, I got um, these little, this little tool at Hobby Lobby, just to give it a little bit more texture. And make sure you have a hot glue gun. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how to make the petals, and then I'm going to put it all together. So, um, you're going to cut a three and a half by three and a half square. And then you're going to fold it like a triangle. You're going to fold it again and make another triangle. And then you're going to fold it like this again for the third time. You're going to have one side longer than the other side. And then you are just going to go up like this, like an angle, start cutting, and then make sure you stay on that edge and turn and then bring it in like that. Then you're going to unravel it just a little bit and you're going, it's going to be halfway. You're going to see these lines right here and right here. They're very barely visible. You're going to cut like that and then cut again like that and you will have petals that look like this. You will grab your lighter. And I'm not going to singe anything because I already have everything ready, but you're going to just bring these in and you're just going to do this and make sure it curls in and like so. I make these differently, so like I have another video with a double that I made differently than I did last year, but I almost caught my house on fire, so I had to get a different way. I didn't really almost catch my house on fire, but it was kind of scary. Because I was using a blowtorch thingy. Like, not really a blowtorch, but a, it was a handheld torch. I have it in my video, and the satin did not like that idea. Even though I was using that for a while, but just... The tip, I went through three of them and the tip of it would always fall off and it would catch the satin on fire and finally I was just like, okay, I'm over this way. So you're gonna have something like this. Okay, so you're gonna grab your pieces and um, it doesn't matter how many you use, I did a whole bunch of them. And some of them are gonna look like this, like they're not gonna be just perfect and that's okay. So you're going to get your two pieces that you just cut out of your tool and the tool you make it the same way except for you're not going to singe it so you're going to do this the three and a half or three and a half square and you're going to um, cut it the same way and everything to make like um, little flower petals to put in and make sure you put these in between and I like to stick it out a little bit so I can see that so I just put one there and then I'm going to stick another one, and then I'm going to stick another one like this. And that's pretty much all I do with that. And now I'm going to start 
layering my flower and it doesn't matter and they are all the same size on this one it doesn't matter um, I'll probably use all these just because this one I only used like eight or ten petals I think I'm gonna use however many I just cut out because I wanted to just a little bit more flower in there want it to look a little bit more and then I want to cut more of this tool I'm gonna do it differently because this I'm not gonna measure I'm just gonna cut whatever and then I'm going to just kind of like fold it the same I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna cut it in half I think I just want to, I'm just going to do a three. I just want to make some texture because what I'm going to do is put this in the middle. But I don't like how it is in that middle, so, because you can't see it. And I am going to use both pieces. But I need to make sure I flip the one on the back over. And I want the little pokes to be like this. And then I'm gonna just stick it right in there because I want to make sure I can see it and this one I can't see it and I really don't like that okay so now you're gonna grab your needle make sure you get it in the middle and you're going to push it through and now you're going to just keep putting that needle through I do like a couple ins and outs of it so we'll do one more time okay and now I'm gonna grab the back and I'm going to um, not this, so it stays. Okay, and that should be good. So now I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to stick this back on my thread. Well, I'll just put this down. Okay. So now you're gonna have something like this. So see how on this one you can't really see the middle? That's what I wanted to make look better. Because these are for school pictures for my kit. And I wanted it just to have more petals. So I think I just did 12 on this one instead of 10. Isn't it crazy how like two more petals can... Okay, right, so now we're gonna do our spikes. And um, I literally will just dot, do a dot, and I want it to peek out a little bit, and I just push it in. I'll do another dot, and um, I'm going to do it like more like this. You, this is more of a personal preference, however you like your spikes, and um, that's how you can do it. So it doesn't have to be... And there's no wrong way to do your ribbon spikes or how to get it to look or whatever. And then I just want this in between and I want to make sure everything is as even as possible. <clears throat> and then we're going to do it one more time. And I'm going to do it like that. Okay. Now I'm also going to get my lace and I'm going to put a dot. This is why my board's so messy and I'm going, I want it to stick out. So I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm going to get this lace 
and another piece of glue. And I'm going to have it also stick out. Okay, I really hope this is in can and like I hope you guys can see this. Okay, and then what else I'm going to do is um, grab my bow. And instead of putting these to, um, together like this, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna glue them together on this one. I'm gonna just let them do its thing. So I'm going to lift up, and do you see um, that last piece? I'm gonna put it right there, just on that peak. So I'm gonna put some glue right there, and then I'm just literally going to Place it. It'll probably stick it out a little bit more than what it is. Okay, and then I'm going to push this down. If I want to, I mean, if I want to, you can either keep it like that, or I'm going to glue this kind of where it's like. How am I here? I don't know. Maybe I will put them together in strands. I don't know. So I'm just going to keep it like that for now. And then I'm going to grab some pearls. And um, I don't really hot glue with Londons. I'm going to hot glue hers. But. Um, I would um, use the other glue that I used in all my other videos. It's like, I don't remember what it's called, but, but since it's getting cold down here, I'm not worried about it. And we don't keep headbands in the car, so I'm not worried about my um, things falling off. And Lennon doesn't put anything in her mouth, so. So you're just going to put dotted glue and do this. We can either do one pearl. Which that's really cute. And then I'm going to get another. I'll just stick it right here and do that. And then we have this little one that we're going to just put. Hopefully without burning our finger off. I'm going to just do it like this. And there we go. I, w I really want to use this jumbo one. But I think it's a little massive for... I just think it looks kind of cool, but I don't like that like that. More like that. Okay, anyways, so there's this, and then all you're going to have to do is, um, you can either choose to put it on fold over elastic, lace elastic, whatever, or a clip. And I'm still debating on which one I'm going to do, because since it's for picture day, I want to make sure it stays in. <laughs> so I don't, I might do a French clip, so... And what you're going to do with that is you're just going to um, make sure you clean up the back as much as you can. Um, what I usually do is I'm going to stick the clip on the back. And um, to make it look a little bit cleaner, I'm going to put a little piece of fabric right here to hide all this messiness. And then put the clip on top. And then I use my felt circle. But here it is. So... And you can just, since it's sewed, you can pull it up, and there is our satin headband. I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. Please comment and subscribe in the bottom, and like if you love this video. And I will see you next week. Bye!